Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Have faith in yourself and you will succeed. Now, I do have faith and faith to me is a huge thing and that gets me through. It's my path and it's my saving grace in this life whenever I have a difficult or troubling time. I've been through bereavement in my time, I've been through real tough times and my faith has always got me through with the Lord above and Jesus. But I appreciate for a lot of people that faith doesn't necessarily mean religion to them. It can often mean just getting through the day, or it can mean getting through a difficult situation, or it can mean getting something in life. It's important for us to have faith, but a lot of us will probably question the reason why. If you're in a difficult situation right now and you're thinking, well, how can I succeed with faith? And maybe you're thinking to yourself, well, actually, I'm just never going to get there, so I'm never going to try. Well, let's start and let's start correcting that. Have faith in yourself and you will succeed. Number one, why should you have faith in yourself? And how are you going to succeed? Well, if you're a faith, you're God's child and you're going to get there anyway. But if that's not for you, you're your mum and dad's child and they want you to get you, and they want to get you there and you will get there. Okay. But if you're thinking to yourself, well, I don't want to just do it for mum and dad, then do it for you. Because there is only one of you in this life and you are amazing and you are incredible. You have been gifted this life and life, which so much of us forget nowadays. It truly is a gift. So many people, I mean, I'm 29 years of age and so many people over the last couple of years, I have read and we've all seen on social media or in the media itself or on the news. And we have found that people much younger than myself have lost their life and they've passed away. And you think to yourself that actually that resonates and actually in that moment that just how precious life is. But yet how many of us take that forward and carry it in our lives and make change? Probably not a lot. It's important that we have faith in our lives. And that doesn't necessarily mean a faith and if that of religion. And if that's not you, then that is OK, because that's your personal choice and you are entitled to that choice. This is your life. This is your gift. OK, you run with this gift how you want to. It's perfectly acceptable for you to sit in the chair and not to do too much with it. But yet, how are you ever going to succeed? To succeed, I find it's an important grasp to have faith. Now, for me, success doesn't mean millions of pounds in the bank, houses here, there and everywhere around the world. Success, I'll be very honest to you, means a beautiful wife, a beautiful family and a beautiful home and a good job. For me, I work in finance and my title is accountant. For me, done with my family to be well and healthy. I'd love to have my dear Nan back again, but unfortunately that's not going to happen, but I know the dear Lord above is looking after her and she looks down on me. For you, my friend, faith is going to get you to succeeding. Now to succeed, you have to believe in yourself. You have to get there. Why may you ask? Well, faith, for example, let's say, for example, you're going for an interview. You walk into a room and you've got that whole mindset that actually, I'm never going to do this. I'm never going to do that. So you've not got faith in yourself then. So straight away, you start off on a negative footprint. So straight away, you're carrying this huge weight and you're thinking to yourself, actually, I'm never going to get this. And you're trying to ask interview questions and the interviewer is really going to start to see that because unfortunately, if we carry those types of things, those burdens on us, our face, and fortunately, as much as we try not to, our face gives it away. And ultimately, you'll probably give that away in your responses as well. So have faith. When you walk into that room, have faith in yourself that actually, I am good enough as everybody else going for this job. I have the most relevant and the most accurate and required experience. I've got the skill set for this. I've got the attitude and I've got the ability to do this role. And I'm going to do it damn incredibly well. Have faith in yourself. Now, faith and arrogance can probably intertwine for some people. But however, having faith in yourself is not a negative thing. And it's always a very, very positive thing. And it helps you in grasping success. Walking into an interview room with faith will mean that you will walk in with that resilience against any negative thoughts that will aid you to walk in with that sort of confidence and you'll give off confidence in your responses and actually you'll be able to stand there or sit there rather and you'll be able to give your responses with confidence with dignified strong responsive answers with objectivity and resilience in the fact that actually you are good you are strong and my friend you're, you've got this you're going to get there so having faith makes a huge difference in yourself
Having faith in life is not always easy. So, for example, if you're in a testing situation within family or if you find yourself not being able to do something in your family because you're looking after somebody or if you're trying to wait on somebody's response in your family or perhaps you've planned something and you're thinking to yourself, I can't do this because I'm waiting on my brother or perhaps I'm looking after somebody or perhaps somebody's going through something really, really bad in their life in the family. I need to make sure that I'm there for them. Have faith in yourself that actually what you're doing is a really, really graceful, dignified, incredible thing. And what you're doing is an act of love. And on that path, you're having faith in yourself. You're having faith in others and you're going to get there. So try to knock out those negative thoughts because having faith in yourself doesn't always come in cross words faith. It often means in the actions we do as well. Let's move on. So when we want to succeed in life, we often think of money in the bank. Well, let me tell you something, that when you sit and look around in society, greedy politicians and people, high-flying figures, let's say, I hate to say this, footballers with pounds and pounds in the bank, yeah, are they really, really happy? Yeah, they may have the houses and the cars and the lavish holidays. Sounds nice, but actually, Take a look at those people what make huge changes in our society. Nurses, just for one. Firemen, two. Teachers, those people which change our children's lives. My nieces and nephews, they're growing important, huge figures in this life to take over. Firemen, they're physically saving lives. Nurses, they're physically saving lives and putting lives back into this amazing world. Have faith in yourself. You don't have to have pounds and pounds and houses here and this and that. Materialistic, to be quite honest with you. Sadly, we came in this world with nothing and we will go without. And we will go out of this world with nothing. And that actually means, you know, let's, let's stay and enjoy an amazing, amazing life. And let's do all the wonderful things we can. Let's have faith in ourselves. But actually, do you know what? Don't hang around too long. Don't worry about the problems yesterday so much. Have faith today and enjoy the blessings of today. And whether that's with religion or not, have faith in yourself because you are incredible. Lastly, I want to finish up with, we've just mentioned it, I know, but when we said about people with, let's say, politicians and, and footballers and sort of celebrities, not all, but some who are a little bit arrogant and have been gifted with an amazing talent, but yet have huge abundance of wealth and sadly do pretty little with it. If you can, spread the joy of life. Pass it on if you can. Have faith in yourself to make change. As I say, there's only one of you in this entire world and life. There's never, ever going to be another you again. So suck that up and improve your outlook on life and have faith in yourself. That actually, do you know what? The next time I walk down the street, there's only one of me. And whatever I choose to do in this life, I'm going to own it. And I'm going to show the world just how good I am at it. You don't have to be an A-star student. You don't have to have university degrees coming out of your ears. You really, really don't. Because some of the most successful people in this planet is the people just who walk alongside us day by day in our general lives, who quite possibly haven't got a qualification to the name. But their success, their abundance of wealth, not in monetary value, but in love, in affection, and in the effect they do in this great, incredible life. Have faith in yourself. It truly is powerful. Ultimately, if you've got faith, then of course God is your guidance uh, and is your amazing grace and is your shining light to hold you uh, into this incredible life. And he's certainly going to get you there on this path. And Jesus is in every single moment of your life right there with you. If not, have faith in yourself. If not, because you're your parents' child, your grandparents, they want the best for you. If not, there's only one of you and you are so, so incredible. So, so special. Nobody has walked in your shoes before. You are just you. I have faith in yourself. You are truly amazing. You are truly incredible. And you know what? If you're sat there thinking, I'm not, look at my past. Do not let the past define you. The past is long gone and forgotten. The darkness has fallen on the past. The sun is shining yet for tomorrow. Life is a blessing. Life is a gift. And none of us are promised a tomorrow. And certainly, my friend, let's look on it. And if we're blessed with no, let's grab it with both hands. And you will get there. I'm going to get there. You will get there. If you choose to have faith for yourself, you will never fail. You will never fail because even if you do have a misstep or you backtrack on yourself and perhaps something doesn't go right for you, perhaps you don't get that job or perhaps your furnace is great at the moment or perhaps your relationship is suffering. Have faith in yourself because 
It's not all about how you fall. It's how you get back up and how you rise again. And that you will with faith. And that shining light is going to be right there in front of you. And bright blue sunny skies is going to be right there for you to grasp and enjoy once more. And you know what? If your past wasn't great, your future can be brilliant with faith and with your decision. God bless and take great care. And I'll be seeing you real soon. Thank you very much for everyone who's watched this. With all of my love, best wishes, many, many blessings. And I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.